see what the law has to say about this. Howdy viewers, thank you for returning, and those of you who are subscribing, thank you for subscribing. It helps out the channel. I'm Brad Ryder of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. And a previous video I did Talesmen and Trinkets. Well, before I was able to craft the legendary boar tusk talesman i ran into a bit of a problem in roads and well i decided to make a video of it because in roads the gunsmith has a young man hostage in his basement and well let me just put it this way things didn't work out real well for me but again it's a fun video. After I arrived at Rhodes and changed clothing to the summer gunslinger outfit, I was going to stop by the gun store to pick up some weapons, and well, this happened. Mister, I've been trapped down here. Why are you dressed up like that? <laughs> I've seen some sick perversions in my time. This one might take the prize. Wait, wait, please. You've got to help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He got me chained to the goddamn foot. Hey there. Come take a look. So, what are you in the market for? Oh, hey, that's a piss poor move. I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me right now. Nothing to no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now! All right, all right! I ain't got nothing to hide. I got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. You, you just stay away from me. Now what I tell you about talking to your pa that way? He can't see. I only do it for his own. Don't shoot me, please. Just, just leave us be. Please, please help me. He, he's got me chained up here. No, the chains. Shoot the chains. Yeah, that didn't work out quite right. Um, yeah, I, well, okay. Let's see what he got on him. What the heck? I've already shot an innocent person, and he has some snake oil. Yeah, this looks creepy, and I'm kind of debating what I want to do here. I know that if I had freed the kid. Things would have gone different. I don't know why he died. I didn't shoot him anywhere vital. I think I shot him in the foot. Or maybe it was a ricochet off the stone. Yeah, but whatever. I mean, I'm innocent, right? I could just walk out here now and, well, I'm going to loot this gun case, though. For you!
You know, in Red Dead Redemption 2, there are some characters that are actually immortal. Well, I'm going to show you how creepy this is after things uh, sort of fall apart here. And nothing here. So, yeah, well, I'll go back downstairs here. Um, I'm going to loot the cash register and see what else I can take. $29.64. Gee, what else can I take here? Uh, no guns lying around. Damn it. I'll, well, I'll take some pistol cartridges here. Why not? That went badly. So now I gotta flee my pursuers. And there's a $46 bounty on Arthur Morgan. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna ride my way out of here and go pay the bounty somewhere. Yeah, at Valentine. In fact, I'll show you exactly what I end up doing. I'm going to just cut to it. And for the sake of videos, size yeah i'm going to transition and show you what i did now that i'm in valentine i'm going to pay my bounty and here we go i've got to pay the bounty and here we go 46 bucks lemoyne and that is it now i probably could take a train back but I'm going to take a stagecoach back to Rhodes and, well, something creepy happens. And let's see, I'm going to take my stagecoach, take a ride, yep, and I'm going to go back to Rhodes. After getting the bison hoarding trinket crafted, I return to the scene of the crime here. And I get off of my horse, hitch her down. Yeah, the kid is not there. Let's go back and let's see if we can enter the gun store. It says, wait until morning. So, guess what I'm doing? I'm going to wait until morning. In this shop long after you're gone. Let's try to make friends, not enemies. Sure, don't go greasing up the pages, though. He's got some form of bandage on his head like it was just a flesh wound. I shot him right in the back of the head, and yet the guy is back. What the heck? No mention about some kid in the basement, anything like that. Yeah, this is creepy. 
But like you said, there are some characters who are immortal. And this guy, well, I don't know. I'm not even going to aim the weapon at him again and make him go downstairs. I'm done with this. Yeah. Disgusting. I'm Brad, proprietor of Our Stool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon, and you'll be notified when I post videos. Because I post four video game related videos a week, as well as some shorts and potentially specials, and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. Thank you.